All right, hey guys, this is Divine here, and I'm going to show you how to make your very own RSPS or your very own RuneScape private server. Now, before we start, I know that tons of tutorials have told you that you have to send, set environmental variables in order to make an RSPS. That is not true. That information is outdated. So I've decided to make a new tutorial on how to uh, get everything set up for your RSPS. Note that the in order to get actual players to be on your server, there will be uh, the port forwarding part of it. That will be in another video. This is the basics of how to download a source. Um, <clears throat> which source to download? I have one that I just kind of picked out of nowhere. And well, it's easy to program and um, it's a Delta source flame all you want. Delta is good to begin with. Um, so let's get started. First we just want to open up our web browser and we're going to type in, I will have this link in the description, so look there. We're going to go to Mediafire. And as you can see I have uh, uploaded this RAR file called your first server. Download it. Now, this download is obviously safe since I am myself am downloading it. Um, there is no virus contained in here. While that's downloading, we're going to need something to open it called WinRAR because as you can see it's a .rar file. Alright, so let's op uh, go to Google again and type in Win rar and this link will also be in the description if you want a shortcut then you go to download and click this button here that says download obviously I'm not going to download it because I already have it um, so you can take care of that on your end server is almost done all right now we open it up, and because you have WinRAR, Win rather, it will look like this. Click on the file, your first server, and press Extract To. I like extracting it to my desktop just because it's easier. Now we wait for it to uh, unpack. I will be back in a moment. Alright, so I am back, and we are almost fully unloaded here. It really didn't take that long, but I just didn't want you guys to sit watching that. Alright, so now we have your first server, the file. <clears throat> You're going to open that and you'll find two different files, one called the source and the client. I want you to take those both out of that folder and put them on your desktop like this. We don't need this anymore, so I'm just going to delete it. Now, once you have these two, you're going to want to first open up the source. Then you'll find a file called run, and you'll double click that. And then your server, your source is online. Now if we go to the client side, I'm sure you've all seen plenty of clients are very familiar with them. Um, if you're on Windows 7, then you're going to want to uh, obviously run the Windows 7 version or you will disconnect after taking two steps. If you're on XP or, or I think, please note that I think that it's Vista, uh, you will press this one. But if you're on Vista and this doesn't, if the Play Now doesn't work, then just do the Windows 7 one. I'm on Windows 7, so I'll do this. This you can just shut down after it comes up. This is not my source, by the way. Then it's just like normal. Just like any other server, you type in your name, your password, log in. Note the activity over here on the run server. And here you are on your server. Um, now, but the thing here is that to make any changes to your server, here, one sec, let me exit out. To make any changes to your server, and I'll have other tutorial videos on how to make small changes, you're going to want to, you need actually a compiler. 
your compiler take and I can explain this more I might explain this more in another video um, RuneScape private servers are Java based and with Java based games or any applet really uh, application you have your Java file that is where it's all readable by humans like long L equals system current time mill is whatever but computers can't read uh, human language and so that the compiler acts as a mediator between the Java file and the class file which if I open it up maybe if I open it up it looks like this which obviously we humans cannot read without well we can't read it at all rather but computers can. So that's the difference between a Java and a class file. And you will have a class file for every single one of your Java files. Sometimes even more than one class file per Java. So after rambling on about that, you have your compiler. Now, if you don't have JDK, well, rather, if you don't have JDK, which I'll get to in a second, they'll say something like this which is the air which if you've tried other tutorials you may, might have seen before it is one of the number one deterrents for people to make from making an RSPS but I've made your life so easy because I'm such a nice person I have already set it up for the latest version of JDK and to get JDK it's fairly simple also just uh, I will have this link in the description but you just go to Google type in JDK SE downloads and right here you can see download JDK yet again I'm not going to download it because I already have it um, so yes that's that and that basically is how to get yourself on a source uh, without you having to set your environmental variables so I will have another video on how to port forward as well as uh, little things on different server revisions, how to edit things, but for my first video, that is all. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.